Hi everyone, my name is Evelyn Mora. I'm the founder of Digital Village and Helsinki Fashion Week. Um, today I want to talk to you about the future of fashion and the role of technology in it. So, um, as you know, we went completely 3D this summer. It was the first time we did such a thing. Um, the event overall was a big success. We got great feedback uh, from our designers and partners and the general public. Um, we definitely owe this accomplishment to our partners. Our main partners like NDA Paris, who was in charge of um, all the animation work and um, building the 3D environments for the shows. Um, Soldat Films, who was in charge of producing everything, um, and um, Scott Omalab, who was in charge of digitizing all the looks for the designers. And of course, last but not least, the designers. So the traditional 15 designers that we selected for this year and um, the 3D designers that collaborated with the traditional designers. So here you can see some of the 3D work of um, Digital Village that we published this summer. This work is by Hard Metacore. We created um, several different environments for Digital Village with her. And this is Ruby Glue, Japanese digital influencer, appearing on NDA Paris um, 3D video for Digital Village. In general, you can see the 3D designers and traditional designers work here in this preview. Here you can see open bits of open plans video. Open plans collection was definitely one of my favorites. I love the fact how she stayed super uh, committed and true to her own aesthetics, even in the digital world. This one was in collaboration with Studio PMS. Here we have Helena Bayai Larsen, Indian Norwegian designer. And all the garments have been digitized by Scottoma Lab. Environments built by NDA Paris. This is a co-created look with unexplored fields and Helena. Designers Virgil Biosa and Ilyas Tayabi collaborated with Helena in creating this look and their aesthetics really complemented each other. This one is by Martina Ponzoni and her team. She basically um, was to send a message regarding climate change and the wildfires in Australia. Patrick McDowell's Catholic Fairy Tales. I love how a lot of these videos uh, and narratives that the designers created um, had a very strong message and deeper purpose rather than just um, organizing a fashion show. This one is by Irish Latina from US. She uses uh, textile waste and recreates them in new pieces. Here we have Sophie Romance from the Netherlands. Menswear collection. Here we have Maku by Marisa Fuentes Prado, Peruvian designer based in Berlin. Mandali Mendrila from Belgium. 
Mandali creates very special collections. She also participated in Helsinki Fashion Week last year. As you can see, her looks are very complicated. So shout out to Scottoma Lab for digitizing every single bit of this look. And of course to NDA for actually animating it. One very important aspect um, to remember is that we 3D scanned real people, the models of the modeling agency that was supposed to uh, walk in Helsinki. So instead of just uh, telling them that we couldn't collaborate with them due to the pandemics and travel restrictions, we decided to actually um, 3D print uh, or 3D scan these models and animate them in the environment. This one is by Paula Malleus Mem, a pioneer sustainable designer from Finland. She's a well-known uh, person in Finland in terms of sustainable fashion. She had published an open source of zero waste patterns years ago. I remember when I just started the, the Helsinki Fashion Week. This one is by Ilya Stayabi and Virgil Biosa on Explored Fields. And here we have Kavaki, a Finnish um, designer, Finnish Chinese brand actually, Yarno and Ki. This one was in collaboration with No Form and their designer Rahul co-created this look with Ki and Yarno. A very successful collaboration. Here we have um, Room for Moon from London and co-created look by Nicole Sisman and Martina Ponzoni. This one is um, Nicole Sisman's collaboration, uh, collaborative look with um, Feminist Internet Organization. And Nessa Seen from India, Neha Seli. Her denim waste collection. And here we have Koti from Japan. Koti also collaborated with Spinnova using their fibers in creating a completely um, new look for them. And we are ending with Hard Metacore. Um, the entire project was executed in record amount of time. Um, we also partnered with incredible companies like Normative, which um, helped us or actually co-created the digital sustainability report with us, which is now online on digitalvillage.io. Uh, we had other incredible partners. For example, we created the interactive um, digital sanctuary with uh, Deva Kang Design Studio in London. Uh, Solar Flare Studios in London and Mono Company um, in Paris. Uh, other than that, we had an amazing group of mentors from Claire Press to Derek Blasberg to Bandana Tewari to um, Mickey Boardman uh, to other material partners like Spin Novam from Finland, Natural Fiber Welding. Um, and VTT, Technical Research Institute of Finland, 
And um, of course, a huge thank you also to uh, all the media that covered our event and all the users that participated to, to Digital Village and um, made this uh, very ambitious vision into, into reality. Um, the process of uh, going completely digital um, in the middle of a pandemic was, of course, a very um, challenging project. Uh, it was really fun and we are really happy that we took this direction. We started obviously by communicating with our traditional designers that we had selected to participate the, the event, the Helsinki Fashion Week this year. Um, after having all the designers on board, um, we connected them with our digital atelier partner, Skotoma Lab, who was in charge of digitizing entire collections that the designers created. So these collections don't exist yet. Um, so traditional designers basically created patterns from these designs. They photographed the patterns and then sent it to Skotoma Lab, who then uh, digitized the patterns and started creating all the, all the looks. After having the collections digitized, I was personally involved in every step, uh, going through every look with each designers and making sure that the result was um, what we desired. Um, other than that, uh, the traditional designers collaborated with 3D designers around the world, so we paired each traditional designer with one 3D designer and they co-created one digital look. Um, you can see all these videos on the Digital Village Instagram or uh, on Digital Village, which we will be launching soon, the second version, the more improved edition. Um, so basically, the entire process of going digital was of course very difficult because we had no previous experience or knowledge about the softwares and uh, different methods and you know the vocabulary uh, so we had to trust a lot um, all of the partners involved um, and this was probably the first time in my career personally where uh, I had a minimal control all I could do was uh, to curate everything to my best ability uh, there was over 200 people from all around the world creating um, Digital Village. So uh, definitely a team effort and it was a, a mission impossible. Uh, pro probably a project of a year uh, and a half that we executed in a few months. Um, the response for Digital Village was incredible. We got a lot of great feedback. Um, and of course we found out a lot of different things to improve for the coming editions and uh, which what I'm really happy about is that the Digital Village will collaborate also with other global fashion weeks it will become a center uh, of digital fashion uh, especially focused on sustainability so the idea for me to create Digital Village is uh, kind of an old idea that has been brewing in my mind for some time. Uh, since last year in September, um, I was looking into cyberspaces, how to enter uh, the internet. Um, I would go around the world and um, speak to architects and other professionals about um, basically emphasizing and really putting thought into the our time that we spend online because I realized that I work online, I socialize online, everything I do um, is online most of the time. So half of my day easily I spend on my computer. So what's really important is to have environments that um, instead of consuming me and having a certain effect to my mindset, it should uh, be curated carefully. I should be able to uh, control um, 
what kind of cyber environments I'm sort of spending my time in. Um, so for this idea, we started collaborating with um, Solar Flare Studios, Mono Company, and Deva Kang, um, architect, com architectural company from London. We started uh, really exploring the idea of the sanctuary, finding a safe space um, online where, which has been designed specifically for you to feel good from the sounds and frequencies to the colors and the movements and in general the interaction with the user. Um, how I see the future of technology, I think one of the most important thing is to take into consideration digital sustainability. Um, when you go digital, it's not automatically sustainable. So there is a lot of elements to take into consideration. Um, I definitely see 3D being a very important aspect of um, the future of fashion industry, a very important tool. But I do believe in, t in other solutions as well, like one of my most uh, favorite tech solutions is uh, augmented reality. Um, I think augmented reality makes way more sense to me personally, and it's way more um, environment friendly in terms of experiences uh, than for example VR. Um, I think VR is, uh, has its own um, benefits or um, when you think about an experience or interaction, but in the end of the day, um, what I really believe in is multi-dimensional environments. So environments in our real world where we can, um, or our real environments that we can uh, boost with um, tools like AR. Uh, another tech solution which I think will be a very important, a slightly uh, dangerous, um, is AI. Um, we had a chatbot which we are relaunching soon with the second edition of Helsinki. So what I did first is I created my own avatar, Kimia Kawaii. You can find her on Instagram. Uh, she was created by Paula Pinna, an incredible 3D designer, artist. Um, and uh, Kimia was a company to the Digital Village uh, with uh, or by um, Miki Boardman, the editorial director of Paper Magazine. Uh, Miki's avatar was done by Sammy Lacropoul, uh, as well as the first video that we published and premiered with Harper's Bazaar UK. The narrative of the video was me and Miki uh, traveling to, to the digital village. Um, I think what's really, what we have to be mindful of in terms of the future of fashion, in terms of using tech tools in the fashion industry, is of course uh, sustainability element and uh, you should definitely check the digital sustainability report that we did with uh, Normative. Um, we collaborated with designers and partners that created the digital village and we published the results and the first part of the report is already online at digitalvillage.io. Um, we really need to 
be mindful of our digital footprint, we really need to be mindful of how we spend our time online and um, you know what kind of services, applications and social media platforms we support. Um, what's really sort of scary to me is obviously right now with the pandemics, um, we have already done an incredible shift in digitizing many industries, creating our events online, dating online, shopping online, socializing online. Um, we really need to understand and be mindful of the balance of our real lives and the time that we spend online because a lot of the applications and platforms in, on internet are not designed to make us feel good or you know to contribute to our mental health or physical health in a, in a positive way. So I think we should really demand this from the service providers and we should be very aware of our online behavior. Um, the future of fashion or the future. Thank you Seoul Sustainable Fashion Summit for having me and thank you everyone for watching my presentation. Uh, feel free to get in touch for any further questions. Uh, meanwhile, stay safe. Digital Village가 선보인 3D 패션 위크는 앞으로 펼쳐질 새로운 세상의 첫걸음인 것 같습니다. 코로나 19로 예술계에서도 많은 변화가 일어나고 있습니다. 박물관도 잇따라 온라인 전시를 오픈하고 있고요. 드라이브인 공연으로 객석 대신 차 안에서 현장의 생동감을 느끼는 일도 많이 벌어지고 있습니다. 헬싱키 패션 위크는 100% 디지털로 구현한 최초의 패션 위크입니다. 저 역시 마치 공상과학 영화를 보는 듯한 기분이 들었는데요. 인간의 상상과 노력으로 미래를 지속 가능한 발전 방향으로 충분히 바꿀 수 있는 가능성을 볼수 있었던 시도가 아니었나 싶습니다. 넬싱키 네, 패션 위크는 윈스턴 처칠의 명언을 떠올리게 하는데요. 긍정적인 사람은 볼수 없는 것을 보고 만질 수 없는 것을 느끼고 불가능한 것을 성취할 수 있다. 기존 패션 위크에서 볼수 없었던 색다른 도전. 매년 헬싱키 패션 위크의 활동이 기대되는 부분입니다.